for stopping by. I'm here on my old phone just because I'm in a rush to leave real quick, but I want to make you guys a video, and so I didn't have time to put this up on the TV or anything, but today I wanted to go over blueprints. Um, as you can see, you got all these symbols. Um, this, is, this is one of the rooms that uh, we've been working in, so <clears throat> on the blueprints they show the, the sofa right there, the, um, the couch, <clears throat> oh sorry, <clears throat> the, you got the couch, I'm trying to get a good angle here so I can point, so um, they got the couch, the tables, the chairs, and then so you got the kitchen over here, you got like a little pantry or walk-in closet, uh, this is the bathroom, the shower, toilet um so basically <clears throat> all these symbols are different little things so this symbol right here is emergency light with the e1 fixture so that e1 stands for a certain type of light and the e1s are all throughout the uh, rooms and then this k right here is the for the little fake can lights i showed you so there's one in the shower and then there's one in the pantry and then there's a vanity light right there the g5 uh, the S's stand for switches, right here, switch for that light, uh, another switch, another switch, so um, that switch goes with the fan and all that good stuff, so um, this is the plug symbol, there's plugs here and then the, the lines represent the circuits, so this is a circuit right here, this little arrow represents a home run back to the panel, so that's the power source, it starts here in the first plug, it jumps from what? So you got the one home run wire, and then the second wire goes to this plug. So you have two wires in this box, two wires in this box. So it's pretty basic. It's just a little chain. They call it a daisy chain, but this is the end of the circuit. So this plug would have one wire right there, one Romex with the ground hot and neutral. Um, this is another fan. Um, this is another home run circuit. So this circuit goes around the living room. This is called the living room circuit. So if you remember some of my older videos, this you can remember me wiring these. Um, probably not, but I didn't really go in depth. I just did like a little time lapse, but <clears throat> pulling the circuits here for the living room. And then you got the bedroom circuit I already showed you. And then you got the lighting circuit. So you take the, there's going to be a lighting home run like right here. It goes into the hallway. Um, and then it jumps from this box. And you take power to this switch box and then... Um, actually not to that switch box. Um, so th because this is a three way, you have power on one side and then switch leg on the other side. So anyways, I'm not going to go into that too far, but basically you take the power from this box and you jump it to the next box that needs power, the bedroom, and then you take the power from there and then you run it into the bathroom and stuff like that. So, um, if you guys are wondering how to wire stuff, how to wire buildings or a house or bedroom or whatever, it's all pretty much explained the, where to run the wires, um, how to run the circuits, how to run the wires, and stuff like that. So everything's all labeled and mapped out, and you got a smoke detector right there. So hopefully this helps you guys a little bit. I'm just going to make a short little video. My video's been like 10, 20 minutes long recently, but hopefully this gives you an idea. This is in uh, one of the apps on my phone, a, a blueprint app or whatever. And then I'll also show you something here real quick. Let me just bring it up. So, just going to go to the uh, the main sheet right here. So, uh, if you look right here, there's a little legend sheet and it shows all the symbols and stuff. So, if you're wondering what a symbol means, you just go over here. And then, if you're wondering what the E1 fixture is or whatever, whatever it tells you what it is or whatever. So, it's going to be whatever. If you find the E1, it's going to be a wall-mounted whatever. So it tells you what it is, and uh, hopefully this helped you out. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys back on Monday, or if not a live stream on Saturday or Sunday or anything like that. So have a great weekend, guys. Catch you soon.